Hi guys, today we're going to be working on some artwork, um, some optical illusion art. Yesterday I posted something that was kind of geared towards the younger kids. This optical illusion artwork you can work on if you're third grade all the way up into high school. So grab a piece of paper, um, anything to write with, ink pen, pencil, marker, colored pencil, whatever you have on handy, and let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to start with a dot in the middle of your paper. And then you're going to draw curvy lines that go all the way out to the edges. They can follow the curves or they can kind of go opposite, but you want to make sure they go all the way out to the edges of your paper. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pick one section to start in and you're going to use lines that curve up. They go up the line and curve across and go back down to fill in that space. So you want them to overlap each time. You want them to be kind of a bubble. And overlapping on the line starting in your center spot every time is really important because that's what's going to make it look like it goes down into those corners and kind of makes it a shadow or darker on those edges. So notice how every time I'm taking that line all the way back to that circle. If you are in fourth grade, we did something kind of like this before with long lines. This one's just a little bit different. So you're kind of looping it all the way around. If it's hard to loop it all the way down, as long as you go about halfway, that would be okay, too. You don't want it to look like a ladder. Or like stripes. You want to make sure that they're kind of dipping down on these edges each time. And you're going to go all the way to the edge of your paper. Okay, so then once you finish one, you go to the next one. There we go. 